Hi guys, it's me, Amy, here from PregnantChicken.com, and I'm here to talk to you today about the pocket! <laughs> this is the world's most compact umbrella stroller, and it's so cool. I saw this at the baby show in the fall, and it just blew my mind. It weighs nine pounds. It can go up to 55 pounds, so that's a pretty big kit. Uh, it's very well made. It has, um, you know, the wheels on the front can move and or lock. It has, um, it can fit in an overhead compartment in a uh, airplane. It can fit in a uh, carry-on bag. It can fit under the seat of a bus. It can go on trains, planes, and automobiles. It is wonderful for travel and that sort of thing. A um, couple things to point out about it that are to keep in mind. This is the sunshade, which, you know, sunshades uh, take up a lot of space. So this one is kind of non-existent. The workaround I could figure is that you could actually probably use a um, receiving blanket or something like that and get away with it. Um, the basket underneath is not a heck, is not very big, but again, that is something that you are compromising on when you're talking about such a subcompact uh, stroller. And the other uh, big thing is that it doesn't recline. So this is for kids sort of six months and up. I would say this is fantastic if you are a big traveler where you're going to be going on and off things like, you know, connecting flights or you are getting on and off public transportation a lot or you have a toddler that insists they can walk when they can't really walk. <laughs> but it is not a lounge around and sleep in to mind. It retails for about $250. So I would say there's nothing like it as far as compact and how small it goes. But I would look at the... Um, uh, Quinny Yez, I think, is sort of similar and it's lightweight. I think it is, uh, I think 12 pounds. And then uh, the Upper Baby G Light, I would look at that because it's 13 pounds. Both are sort of weight wise um, in the same kind of category, same price range, but you may get, you get a uh, recline with the G Light and you get, it's not quite as compact to fold, but you, just take a look at the Yez too if you're looking for comparables. Uh, if you have an infant or something like that, I would probably opt more for like a carrier or something like that or your actual stroller. But wonderful, wonderful, wonderful if for six months and up and you travel a lot, it is the um, GB Pocket. Hang on, I'm going to try and fold it again. Ugh. Oh, no, wait, I'm going to lock these. Let me lock it first. And I will also, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I will try my best to answer them, and you can check out the rest of the review on the site. Look at that. There's an even more compact fold where you uh, tuck up these um, wheels as well. But it is so tiny, it is so awesome, and it is so light. Anyways, check out the rest on the site, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.